Hi, I'm Dick Bowles, the author of the book, What Color Is Your Parachute, 2013 edition. I wanted to tell you what concentrates our attention when we're out of work. We start to think we're up against grand, immutable forces we just can't overcome. It's all out of our control. What's happening out there with the job market is awful, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's the feeling that really causes depression when any of us is out of work. So I want to tell you a story. One time when I was a pastor in a church in New Jersey, I had a parishioner come to me and say, there's this woman I know, I wonder if you would see her. And I said, what is the problem? And he said, she seems to have multiple sclerosis and she's been to everybody and they can't do anything for her. So I was hoping you could talk to her. And I said, I'll talk to her, but I don't know there's anything I can do. He said, fine. He brought her over. I remember still the sight of her, first walking up to my house stiffly, barely moving, walking immensely slowly. And uh, I thought to myself, boy, I don't know that I can do anything here. She sat down after exchanging pleasantries. I said to her, Mary, what is multiple sclerosis? She said, well, I've been to a neurologist, a physician, a specialist, and I still don't know. And I said, well, that makes us even, because I don't know either. But I want to make a proposition to you. Just logic tells me this. There are probably genetic reasons, there are probably all kinds of reasons why we get multiple sclerosis, but there's got to be something that's in our control. I don't know what, uh, let's say 95% of what causes multiple sclerosis in us is out of our control. What about the 5% that is in our control? Maybe if we changed that, some other things would change too. So would you be willing to come here and talk to me once a week and we work on that 5%? And she said, sure. So she did. And over the course of several months, she experienced a remission, which is characteristic of the disease. But this one was long. This one lasted a long time. She became free of any paralysis, any stiffness, and she went on to become a model on 57th Street in New York City. Now, what I learned from that was no matter how much we may think we're up against it, there's always something some part of that situation that is in our control. It might be 5%, it might only be 2%, but something is in our control. And by working on that, by trying to change that, we often can change our whole destiny. That applies to job hunting too. You have to take control of what you can, which is to do an inventory of yourself, to give, to approach job hunting as though you were an entrepreneur. Not of what you're going to do with your life once you get it settled, but an entrepreneur of your job hunt. You're in charge of it. Take control of that. Learn what are the best methods of hunting for work. Learn what methods don't repay you for all the time you might put into them. If you do that, if you concentrate on what is within your control, you may be amazed at the changes you can bring about in your life and in finding your true career.